Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martins here with their outlook for September 16th, 2016. We start off Friday here, very uh, mostly sunny day today. We're going to have high pressure off to our east now. Uh, might have a slight increase in temperatures from what they were yesterday, not by much. If it is, it's by a degree or two. Uh, winds are going to be coming in from the southeast today, and uh, that's not really a, a recipe for a big increase in temperatures. So we still think it's going to be mostly sunny, pleasant, and low humidity. This down here uh, is Tropical Storm Julia, still kind of hanging around down here uh, off the coast. That's a very poor drawing of a... Uh, tropical storm signal uh, symbol there, but it's still hanging around here around the southeastern U.S. coastline. Uh, this will continue to meander around this area, will not have an effect on our area, maybe. We're going to have watch for some uh, some tropical enhancement as we get later in the weekend, and I'll get into that in a, in a minute here. Not from that tropical storm, uh, but uh, let me move this forward here to the next frame. Uh, not, from the, not from this tropical storm in sense, but there will be a moisture feed uh, from that that will uh, start might enhance the rainfall along this cold front that's going to come through on Sunday. Now here is a look at Saturday. Saturday is still partly cloudy. Here's later in the day Saturday. Still nothing going on in our coverage area. So I do think you have uh, this front is running into this high pressure here. So uh, that's going to allow this thing to slow up a little bit. And it's going to keep us partly cloudy here on Saturday. Nice day here on Saturday. Temperatures go up another degree or two. Not a big deal. Still low humidity. Uh, I just lost my image again. So we get into Sunday morning, we're going to have that front starting to creep down to the south and east, and uh, we're going to get some uh, rain, and that could be some heavy rain coming into northeastern Pennsylvania back to central PA. Uh, this is very early in the morning on Sunday, but as we go through the day, here's uh, later in the morning, it doesn't really move that far eastward, uh, but we do eventually expect it to move further south and east and, and inundate the entire area. Here's a tropical feed I was talking about here. This is not really the factor, but you do have a... Uh, the, the flow out of the out of the south and, and southwest is going to increase the moisture along this frontal boundary. We could have a decent amount of rain out of this, which would be one heck of a of a, of a good thing because we really need it. We haven't had uh, decent rain in a while. Uh, these fronts that have come through the area have just been uh, very moisture starved, and this does not look like it's going to be moisture starved from the latest model guidance. Here's a look at uh, Sunday. This is uh, later Sunday and Sunday evening as it moves further to the east, and then here is early. Uh, very early Monday morning, wee hours of the morning, uh, and then later Monday morning it's going to move off to the east. Still getting heavy rain here across our southeastern areas at this point. Uh, but uh, we, this thing should clear out of here at, at some point later in the day on Monday. So we are going to have improving conditions from northwest to southeast uh, during the course of the day, and partial clearing will occur in the interior, uh, probably holding on the clouds pretty much all day down in the southeastern regions and that rain ending at some point during the afternoon, at least the way it looks right now. So if you do a weekend plans, I do think you're okay uh, Saturday. If you get into Sunday, again, northwest areas, you'll get into the rain pretty early on, uh, and uh, that, that'll be Sunday morning. Elsewhere, this uh, when you're looking at Sunday morning here, the southeastern areas you see are still dry. So if you do have anything going on Sunday morning, church, or whatever that may be, you are dry in these areas Sunday morning, it looks like. And then once we get later in the afternoon and evening, that starts to move uh, into the area. It might actually in our southeastern areas get an entire day dry, and that would be extreme southeastern areas of Delaware and southern New Jersey. Here is the rainfall potential from this system, and you can see model precipitation values are pretty high here uh, considering what we've, we've had recently. We have pretty much nothing, and you're talking about a general one to two inches of rain across this area, probably closer to an inch, but some spots could get upwards of two inches of rain. So we'll keep an eye on this to see if that does, does in fact happen, but this, the fact that this front is very slow uh, to move through and is going to have some enhancement here with uh, so southwesterly winds kind of feeding into it. Uh, we could have some enhanced uh, rainfall rates, and that is definitely a possibility. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep our fingers crossed, hope for the best that the models do not back off on that precipitation. We get into uh, Tuesday then, and uh, we're expecting a mostly sunny day, or partly cloudy day we'll call it, and then uh, mostly sunny we'll have on uh, Wednesday as this high pressure moves in behind it. So that's going to be another weak front you saw there trying to come through, but it's going to, on Tuesday, here's that look at Tuesday, weak front kind of falling apart. What else is new? But you do have a cooler push here, slightly here on Wednesday behind that front. So that by the time we get to Wednesday, it's going to be a mostly sunny day with this high pressure moving in and lower humidity. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is our outlook for September 16th, 2016. Have a great Friday.